Friction is a very ancient concept and basically it describes what happens when you put two things on top of each other and move them. So it's actually the force I can feel as I push my hands across each other. So friction is really important, you couldn't have tyres on the road, a car wouldn't be able to move without friction. And even very simply a nut and a bolt work because of friction. So if you didn't have friction, it might be even very difficult to actually make an engine, let alone have a car rolling down the road. Well, about 10% of the energy in an engine is lost through friction. By reducing that friction in an engine, you can improve the fuel efficiency of such an engine. Molybdenum disulfide as an additive is not only difficult to say, but it's also something which has been around for a good few years. If we can understand what the actual composition, how it actually reacts and binds with the surface, that will give us some insights in how we then can modify that to improve it, to improve its resilience, improve its anti-wear properties, improve its frictional characteristics. The aim of the project was to understand better molybdenum sulphide and how it might be modified uh, and made better. Uh, so to understand the compounds that deliver molybdenum sulphide in an engine, to understand what molybdenum sulphide is like when it's delivered, and then to take that knowledge and try and decide, could we make it better, cheaper, more environmentally benign? So we can use techniques like electron microscopy to look very closely at these surfaces and the cross-sectional profile of these materials. We can use crystallography to probe its structure, and this gives us an indication of how it will perform under lubrication conditions. We know a lot more about the structure of molybdenum disulfide under stress, and we know now that we can add a range of different metals into the structure of molybdenum disulfide to disrupt the structure and improve its properties under stress. This coating can potentially be applied in any area where unwanted friction uh, is occurring and where we would like to reduce that friction. So this is not limited to only engines, this could be applied in gearboxes as well, for example. This research has the potential to make engines last longer and potentially change the way in which we lubricate various systems. The research can be extended to all sorts of applications, including aerospace, aeronautical and vacuum situations such as those found in space. In ICAM, we've got a really good complement of skills and capabilities which can look at structures, we can look at compositions, and you need to put all that together with things like modelling and uh, surface science in order to be able to deliver advantage materials or improvements to materials which will make a difference not just to BP but uh, to wider aspects of the world. Thank you.